something other than nature. It was only then that I came upon a group of strange men who no longer communed with nature. All of these men stood in a circle, people of great stature. For many thousands of years they had discussed the role of man and his nature. Was it that man, who by his own hand had bound himself to an alien structure, it isn't that he is free but does not know that reality thus remains bound by the bonds of tradition. These strangers of which we speak no longer wish to seek their salvation in the natural world's explanations. So far man has come, led by a drum, he has beaten the same tune always. On the first night he lay in a cave protected by the fur of the animals he killed that kept away the chill of the winter air. Today he wears silk and drinks up his milk, and if it is cold outside, then it is warm in here. In Houston they seek their destiny in the stars, propel their projectiles towards Mars, while destroying the valleys they shoot them from. All because of this, the culmination of man and all his histories, the strangers meet again to agree. It is time to loosen the bonds tying us to nature's grasp and to consider the hypothesis that it's all just our reflection in the looking glass. The strangers pass dates to each other which discern the rhythm by which we have all lived within the bounds of nature's grasp. The strangers shut their eyes, each one of them draws a card that expressed the new meaning to each other. If they had been fools all along, there would be no need for this song, as they realised they were one and had never been alone, and therefore were not strangers at all. If these words could change us, it would be all well and good, but our nature still persuades us that we need her, but as the old sage said, you don't let the car drive you, or you will crash sooner or later. Liam.